Hi, my name is Kolesma. My name is Langa. I'm from Bosova Freedom High School. I'm in grade 11 B. I'm doing commerce. I like to talk. I like to be very much. I'm a high team. Everybody knows me. And I like cats because the cats are always clean. Hi, good morning. I go by the name Babu Sunwapo and I live in Mokutino in a tiny town. And then I am doing grade 11 at Joseph Freedom High School and I like debating. That's all. Well. Good morning everyone. I am Charlie Dombizamele and I am currently doing grade 11 at Joseph Freedom High School from Mokutino. I like to sing very much and I am doing science and pyramids. Uh, the animal which I associate myself with is a leopard because it always has a focus. <laughs> Hi, my name is Fasek Mbogori. I'm from Trasloba High School from High School. I'm from Great Level Tourism and I like I like that culture a That's me. And greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, my name is Babano. My surname is Janas. I'm from grade 11 D. And I like to do um, history. I like reading most of the time and I like listening to the news. Yeah, thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm on the Latin and I'm from grade 11 B. Uh, and just love from high school. Well, I like to play volleyball a lot and uh, have fun with my friends and all. Greetings to all of you. I'm from Max I'm from Great Dennis. I'm doing this way. I like to watch this one. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mirika Yawako, coming from Level D. I like hip hop music. With an activity like this, there's no wrong answer. You might think something that I think is completely different. I might say the world would be a better place if everybody got on really well. You might say, no, I disagree. So there's, there's no right answer. It's about what you think in your heart. Do you understand? Yes. So, to start off with, obviously our topic is, how do we think the world could be a better place? Now, I think it's really important when we do things like this is, rather than looking at everybody, what I'd like you to all do is just shut your eyes in a moment and think for one minute about, if you could have one thing and make some, the world a better place, what would the one thing be? And then we'll talk about it. Do you understand? Okay, so for one minute, try and think about all the things that you think can make the world a better place and pick the most important one. I might say, this is not, this is not right. I might pick this one and go, we make friends with children from overseas. Do you know, that's really important, but I don't think it's the most important thing compared to some of these. So I'm going to put it right to the bottom. I might pick this one and go, we don't waste water. Well, actually, everyone has enough to eat and we don't waste water. I think they're both quite important, but I don't think they're most important. So I'm going to put them near the top. So this is your top. This is the most important. This is, these two are <coughs> similar, but not as important as my top. These three are, you, you think that they're similar, but they're not as important. And then it gets less important and less important to understand. When I achieve, like you don't just go request money from somebody, you try to make your own money. Yeah. yeah, and I think that you can still be happy without winning. That's yeah. the big thing that I. Um, so why do you put this one at the top? Yeah, if you, you know, it's that you, it says people work together to help each other. If we cooperate, we we make the world a better place. Like he needs something for me, I help him. That if I give him a hand, he helps the other one. So in that we share information. Like exactly what we do with them, we try to share information about what we think of the world. Yeah, yeah. You're telling what to do. Actually, in the left this this sharing information session starts from local, then it goes global. 
if it grows globally, then it affects the whole world. Then we are living in a better place, sharing ideas and what we think about things, our opinions and all that stuff. So I think that's important. So what's the significance? Um, it's not that significant that you make friends with children from overseas. It is significant, but then it's not as important as getting to know other people. You, you do know these other people, it's like... The only way to know them is by only working with these people from your country, then you start working with these other people from your from your like continent and from your continent it's worldwide. So it's not as necessary that you start making friends with people from overseas if you ever start making friends with people who live yeah, around. Yeah, no, I agree. Sometimes you need to meet. starts back at our communities. If we don't cooperate back where we come from, then how do we expect us to cooperate when we go to schools? So if we start helping each other back at home, it means you start helping somebody at home, then you do it next door, from next door to your community. From your community, you take it to school. Then from school, you get to share it with everybody. Like, school is also some sort of a community. So if you take it from home and then you give it to your community, it's better that way. Then everybody will be able to cooperate and then we're going to succeed, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we are said that if we treat each other equally, then I think the world could be a better place if we could try and understand each other. Like, I think many things could stop, like crime, violence, because we treat each other equally, we, we, we understand each other. I think many things could, many bad things could stop and good things could grow and yeah. develop. Yeah. If we can treat each other equally, even here at school, we won't undermine each other. We will take us in a different place. Uh, I have said everyone, everyone treats each other equally. Uh, if we can treat each other equally and there will be no xenophobia and everything, such as those things, no trial and uh, concentrate on one another. So. Uh, as we said, everyone treats each other equally. If we can do that, uh, we can change our world and stop discriminating other people's work together to develop our world. The reason why we say it all children can go to school that can make a better world. It's because that when you're in school, you, you are learning more things. You're learning more things from um, teachers who have experience about those things. So that if, like, like if they, as they have said, that everyone needs to treat each other equally, like if they have not been learned about that, how will they treat each other? You see? So the reason why we say yeah. everyone needs to go to school. Okay. All children can go to school. The reason for putting this or uh, taking it as most significant is because you cannot treat each other 
equally without a uh, without it's like in, in order for you to to learn about how to treat each other equally uh, broadly yeah. you have to go to school to be taught about that because other other people have no say have no enough setting for 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 other things such as how to treat people maybe you, you are at your home maybe other parents are, are not talkative so they can manage uh, teaching their children how to treat other how to treat each other equally yes.